Deputy Spokesperson of the Government of Rwanda, Ale Mukurarinda, emphasized that although no Rwandans have been affected by the protests in Mozambique, the Government of Rwanda, through its embassy, will continue to ensure the protection of Rwandan citizens there in every possible way. We have more on this report from Adam Squizera. It's been a week since the National Electoral Commission in Mozambique announced the final results of the presidential elections, with Daniel Chapo winning 70.67% of the votes. Following the announcement, protests erupted in various parts of the country. Ndabarasa Teofil, a Rwandan living in Mozambique, provides insight into the cause behind these protests. Uh, Opposition figures urged on people to protest against election results. This escalated into widespread instability and unfortunately resulted in incidents such as theft and insecurity that affected many diaspora communities in Mozambique, including Rwandans. Deputy spokesperson of the government of Rwanda, Ale Mukurarinda, emphasized that although no Rwandans have been affected by these protests in Mozambique, the government of Rwanda through its embassy will continue to ensure the protection of Rwandans in every possible way. If we have an embassy, it is understandable that people who are there have to inform Rwandans living there and alert them on the chaos that is happening, which is now affecting diaspora communities there. It can be an issue that are targeting other communities like Rwandans, Burundians, or Congolese living in that country. In this instance, the embassy acted appropriately by notifying Rwandans and closely monitoring the institution to ensure prompt action could be taken if necessary. Ndavara Sateofel, who works in Maputo, Mozambique, knows that the embassy of Rwanda continues to closely monitor the security of Rwandan's residents in this country. Currently, the embassy is assisting us by alerting us to avoid working or traveling in chaotic areas and advising us to contact them if we encounter any challenges. Recently, they even made efforts to reach out directly to us. The protests in Mozambique began on 24th, October 2024, following the announcement of the election results, which confirmed the victory of Daniel Chapo from Fred Limo suppressing his rival, Venancio Mondlane, by over 20% of the votes. Adam Squizera, RTV News.